Welcome to my world. Oh, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. You're so beautiful, full of life. In this video, I want to give you last minute quick tips on how to survive your Christmas with a Latino family. Because Latinos, we like to party and we like to talk a lot. And we like to scream and yell every time we talk. So, you need to be ready for those things. Número uno, eating. There's gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot of eating, okay? And it's gonna be something kind of like this. Hey, mijita, how you doing? You want some candy? ¿Qué pasó, chula? We have some tequilita, some gin, some alcoholito. What you want, eh? On Latino Christmas, you will be offered food that you didn't even know they existed. Romeritos, bacalao, tamales, menudo. There's gonna be so many options. You're gonna be like... All of these things are not only real in telenovelas, they're also real, very real in the real world. They exist. So the best advice I can give you is you need to buy some good pepto bismol pills and eat them before every food, okay? Every food, no matter what you get, eat those pills before eating anything. With doing that, you'll be fine, don't worry. Numero dos, learn some Spanish words. You might be going to a Christmas party where there's people that don't really speak English or any other language besides Spanish. So you need to be prepared in case something happens, okay? So here's a list of some of the words that you need to know. Puto pendejo cabrón. Puto pendejo cabrón. With those three words, you'll be fine, don't worry. No, I'm just kidding. Please don't use those words because if you do, then you just don't use those words, okay? Forget I ever told you those words. These words you do need to know, okay? Ready? Get up. Pencil and a paper so you can write them out. Hola, me llamo gringa. Pipi. Quiero hacer del dos. And the most important ones, gracias. Please remember to say this word. Gracias and por favor. Just say that. Gracias, por favor. Thank you and please. And you'll be fine. Oh, and you also need to say tequila and you can say, you need to say baño when you go to the restroom. Baño, baño. Because you're gonna need to go. At some point of the night, you're gonna go more than one or two or maybe even five times. So. Baño. Learn that word. Número tres. Find a safe zone. You might not be used to be with probably a hundred people at a time. So maybe after a few hours that you get to the party, you might gonna need a break. So you need to find a good spot where you can just chill and be with you and your phone and nobody else. So you can try maybe the kitchen. No, don't go to the kitchen. Don't. If you want to leave, don't ever go to the kitchen, okay? Número cuatro. Learn about the family's culture because not every Latino is from Mexico. So, these are some of the other um, countries where they could be from. Puerto Rico, Salvador, Honduras, Mexico, España, Guatemala, Brazil, Ecuador. In case you forget where this family is from, just try to look for clues. Like for example, if these people from Colombia, they might have like a Colombian flag somewhere in their house or something. If you go to like a place where they have the um, the Virgencita de Guadalupe, then they might be from Mexico. If you go to a place where they have bananas, they might be for the Dominican Republic. So each of them will have clues, but you need to be really good at like seeing them, okay? Do your research if you wanna live. Oh, cinco, Latin music. Every single Latino that lives in this world loves Latin music, okay? In case you're at this party and you run out of conversation with somebody, just start singing in Spanish and they will be happy. Like, just, you can start singing in Spanish. Like, for example, you can say, dale, 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 dale. Say those words and everyone's gonna love you. Reggaeton, dale, papi, reggaeton, reggaeton, reggaeton. If you say Pitbull or Prince Royce, then everyone's gonna be like, I know you want me, you know I want you. Número 6. Get ready for an hour or two of La Virgencita de Guadalupe. Okay, so here's the deal. In every Latino Christmas holiday party, there's an aunt, an uncle, a grandma, or a grandparent that loves Virgencita de Guadalupe. And they want to pray. They want to pray. They're going to pray for at least one hour, maybe two hours, maybe three hours in some cases. So you need to be ready for this moment. How are you going to be ready? The best thing that you can do to get ready for this moment is to try to sleep with your eyes open. That's the best thing that I'm going to tell you. No, seriously, you're gonna need to try to sleep, so let's practice together. Just sleep. Right now you're sleeping. You're not paying attention. You're sleeping. You see, it works. That's the best way that you're gonna get through this. The key word 
es Mijo, mijo Todos listos para rezar el rosarito Vamos a rezar, mijo Vamos a rezar el rosario Vamos a rezar, mijo When you hear that word, then remember what I told you, okay? Sleep with your eyes open. Sleep. That's the only thing that's gonna save you from that. Número 7, 8, I don't remember. Posadas, okay? Well, this is only for Mexicans. I don't know if they celebrate this in another country, but for Mex if you're going to a Latino Mexican celebration holiday party, and if you're going to a posada, which is like a few weeks before Christmas, before Christmas, there's only one thing, one thing that you need to know before going to that party. Piñatas, piñatas. Don't let the cute kid faces distract you from the real goal, candy. That's the only thing that matters in a posadas piñata. You need to step it up and go for it. Don't care about anything else. Don't care about what people say. You go, you break that piñata, and then you go into the floor, and then you throw yourself, and then get all the candy that get all the candy that you want. Número 10. El intercambio. El intercambio, mijo. El intercambio. El intercambio, mijo. El intercambio. Ya va a empezar, órale. Ya va a empezar. The exchange. I don't know why this is a tradition, but basically what happens is that you go to a party, a Christmas party, and you give gifts to each other. Yeah, and this is not like Santa giving gifts to everybody. No, this is actually people exchanging gifts just because it was random and you want to give somebody a gift. Maybe you don't want to, but then you have to. And then they give you a limit. Like, yeah, you can only spend $10 or $20. Well, don't listen to this. If you are going to the to the party and you need to do the exchange and you already know that you have to give it to your mom's um to your lover's mom or your mom's dad or anybody at this party you need to step up your game and you need to buy the best fucking thing ever because if you don't then everyone's gonna be like mm, mm, esa que esa gringa que eso no se que ese gringo que ese gringo puto Okay guys, well these are all my tips. I hope this helps for your next Latino holiday Christmas celebration party. Let me know how it goes because I know it could get really crazy. Cool? Don't forget to subscribe. Merry Christmas. Happy anniversary. No, no anniversary. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, 2016. Yeah, 2016. Alright, see you. Adios.